I'm going to need to make the unselectables temporarily have no effect so I have access to them. Let's have a look at where the local y-axis is pointing and in most all cases it should be pointing down. Just verify that. So the bones y-axis we're trying to control. So I'll start off by getting a couple of control objects. Again I'll get a primitive null. Change it quickly into a pyramid and just size it down. I'll call this the foot Uh, this will actually be the left um, heel up vector. I'll match its entire transform to the first bone in the chain. So I usually just match all transforms so we get the local y vector. And I'm just going to move that off the character. It doesn't have to be very far, but I'm just going to move it off to just demonstrate it. It's a little bit uh, cluttered in here. Control Alt D to duplicate that, and this new one here will be the left ball one up vector. And that's going to be controlling the y axis of this bone. We really don't want any of these bones to twist, and I find locking down this bone generally isn't enough, so I'm just going to go over overkill here. I'm going to move it down along its local y vector. Notice again, you have to use local mode for this. Control Alt and this is actually left ball one here this should just be left ball and then finally we have left uh, actually we don't need the toe up vector because the toe is uh, an end effector. Really it's just the bones we need to control. So we need three up vector controls. So we've got uh, left ball one up vector, left ball up vector to correlate to left ball bone, and then we've got the left heel bone with the left heel up vector. Alright, let's see if we can make this happen. I'm just going to get rid of that one on there. And I'm going to start off by taking the left object. Actually, before I do that, let's just mirror these over. Um, don't need to share the parent. I'll just mirror those guys and just freeze the rotation. Actually, I don't need to freeze the rotation. Maybe just freeze the scale. And I'll do a rename on those. Uh, left for right. Now I'll set the up vector. So I'll use a constrained chain up vector here, there, and to this one. Of course, my Malco rest pose will never work right now because <laughs> that was foolish of me to do. I'll do the same thing over here. I guess my feet weren't quite reset there. And these objects here need to be parented to the pivot of the object that's doing the controlling. So this object will be the parent here. This object will be the parent of this one and this one of this one. Basically as this is rotating it has to drag that object along with it. As this is rotating it's pulling it up. So the up vector is always aligning with it. We're not trying to rotate the up vector at all. And that should allow us to, to bank the foot. So if I middle click, those are all parented together. Uh, let's do the same thing over here. Just using the control object. 
and I'm not really interested in, in animating these, these little controls here. I'm just trying to control my up vector problem. So I can grab those and I can move them into the unselectables group and then I can take the unselectables group and now I should be able to make it all unselectable again so I'm back to my uh, normal set of controls. Now at this point I should probably store a new uh, a new mixer pose, a new reset pose so I'm just going to quickly do a save as you know if I made a mistake here I don't want to lose all this work so I'll call it constraints 2 and I'm just going to do a quick test before yeah so there's a strange little problem here and it's likely caused by the fact that I've got a pose constraint on this end effector so I may not actually need this up vector. So I'm going to try deleting it. Actual fact. Uh, the pole vector's there. I'm just going to press enter. So yeah, I don't need that. I don't need that. Still getting a rotation there. Let's turn off the rotation aspect of the constraint. And I'll just bring in another null. I'm just doing some patchwork on the fly here to make sure I can understand what's happening. I'll match all transforms, move back along the local Y, and I'll try constraining the chain up vector. There we go there. If I make that a child of this object, the toe control, there we go. So the problem was that the pose constraints rotation constraint, uh, the pose constraint that the bone here has to this left ball one constraint was causing some uh, incompatibilities between the chain up vector and the object's resolution plane. So I'll change this into my up vector and I'll just size it down a bit. And I'll call that the left toe up vector. Okay, it's good to know that that, that works. I'll just take this over to the other side as well. Mirror that across now. And I'll make sure that on this pose constraint over here, as it's pose constraint as well, actually another interesting thing is if you turn on relations, you can see it's pose constraint right at that point. So I'll actually look at the pose constraint, turn off relations here, and deactivate the orientation part of the constraint. Uh, so now I'll be able to take that object and chain up vector and I shouldn't have any problem and this is called right toe up vector and if I check everything out we now have a, a leg that works properly so it took me a couple seconds there to figure out what was going on but again it's pretty easy to to iterate through changes in, uh, in XSI so I've got the unselectables group again. I just can't seem to want to go away. It always kind of comes back, which is why I'm glad I kind of have this group here. It's very easy to just turn on and turn off, but know that it's there in a in a pinch. I'll do one more test on the character. Again, I can just do a quick save backup uh, at this point. I'll just do some rotations on the foot. We'll try out the foot bank. There we go. we got a nice bank now. I get a bank on the inside. And I can move right into the, the foot roll from there as well. Any direction works. Although I do need some blending still. And 
just test that out for the other side and I think we're going to be good to go. The bank. Okay, uh, I guess at this point I'll store another action as it's about time so I'll just jump into my mixers here and grab everything and store the cable parameters and I'll call this one press pose so rest pose becomes old there we go Moving the character, moving the knees, just try posing the character, just see if you can break it. I'm not going to really bank at this point here, but well, let's try it. And it just pops right back into place. So if I switch back to objects only mode, we've still got a very tidy character and every single piece is accounted for.